We're in Office 365 PowerShell. I'm going to show you how to create a new user for Exchange and for Active Directory. So we've already connected into our Active Directory PowerShell uh, connection back to Office 365. So let's go ahead and create a user. Now, if you missed on how to do that, there is a video in this playlist that tells you how to connect. So just to get a list of who's in here, we're going to type in get-msol, which is Microsoft Online User. And it tells us there's our list of all of our different users. And their user principal name is their email address. So now we're going to create a new user. So we'll do new-msol user. And we'll put in minus display name. And don't worry about using capital letters for the commands, even though it shows it on Microsoft. It's just not necessary. And we'll put in Mary Jones for the display name. Then we'll put in minus first name. And we'll type in Mary. Minus last name. Type in Jones. And we'll type in user principal name. And we'll put in Mary J at and then our domain name. Now there's a lot more different switches we can use on this and we can look that up in the Office 365 PowerShell commands on Microsoft. But this gives you an idea how to create a new user uh, very simply by giving that person an email address as well as uh, the display information. Go ahead and hit enter and there it is. It also went ahead and generated a password for Mary that we can use. You can see that all the way on the left-hand side. So Mary can now go and log in as herself, and she can go ahead and start getting set up. Now you see on the right-hand side, is licensed is set to false. So if you've already purchased licenses, then it is possible to add those licenses by putting an additional switch at the end of this particular command, such as if the name of your organization is click times three, then you would put in C-L-I-C-K times three, and you put in colon, and then the type of license you would get. So if it's an enterprise license, you would you put it in all caps, enterprise pack and then that would automatically license that person at the same time if you've already purchased them so that's how you create a new user through office 365 powershell